Hey guys, we want to do another interview video here in Shibuya. We are standing uh, right outside Shibuya Crossing here in Tokyo. And we want to ask English speaking tourists about their navigation travel habits. So whether or not they are more traditional navigator using Google uh, Maps if they print it out or if they use guidebooks or if they're more of a modern day navigator uh, using their cell phone, using mobile applications like Google Maps. Um, so let's go start asking some English speaking tourists here in Tokyo. I just want to know where you're from. I'm from England. I'm from Spain. Spain. From Switzerland. Toronto. We're from England, just south of London. Sydney, Australia. Sydney, Australia. 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 Many Australians today. <laughs> We've been seeing many Australians lately. <laughs> not, not many Americans, so hi, uh, yeah. The question is, we just want to ask English-speaking tourists here in uh, Japan uh, about their navigation travel habits. So, uh, do you use Google Maps? Uh, do you search online? Do you print out guidebooks? Do you print out PDFs? Um, kind of, what do you do? Uh, kind of a little bit of a combination really we like we've been using Google Maps and just sort of figuring out where we need to go beforehand and then um, you know just kind of using that as a guide and uh, just kind of uh, typically do you use Google Maps do you use guidebooks do you print out PDFs I'm trying to use Google Maps right now yeah a bit of everything we have like a couple of guides and also we use the internet and some tips from friends okay. I do a lot of different things so I have maps and everything in my bag, I have a travel book just in case, and then I have my phone, okay. just as an emergency. I kind of looked up beforehand, plus my mate lives here, so he's just pretty much been taking me everywhere, so I've had it easy. <laughs> but how do you how do you guys um, figure out which spots to go to? Spots, as in like tourist spots? Tourist spots, uh, restaurants. Well, we used Audigal for some. <laughs> I uh, used my phone, but I've, I've literally just got here, so I, I've docked here about half an hour away so then we got a taxi and now looking around and I'm just using my map on my phone okay. to find however it's a bit temperamental because the map can be delayed on your phone so it's a bit frustrating but Tokyo is a crazy place probably the last place you want to get lost so. <laughs> guidebooks and Google Maps we bought a little uh, portable Wi-Fi thing so we can just use our phones all the time so that's pretty much how we're doing it have you ever been lost in Japan I got lost yesterday because I had to go to Fuji kindergarten and it's way out of the city and no one knew the station and I ended up getting off the wrong train and it took me three hours when it should have taken me an hour but that's okay that's how the fun of it isn't it how did you get back on track did you ask locals or uh, have you guys ever gotten lost uh, with yeah this the morning <laughs> yeah. day one yeah, yeah. yeah this is our first day here this morning we kind of left the hostel without a plan and then I got very hot and very thirsty, so we had to find a cafe and sit down and start again. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. And and a lot of the people that we've asked have been very kind and very nice and, and just very polite when it comes to, you know, helping out foreigners. The thing is, I get them to look everything up and then I just tag along. <laughs> Makes my life so much easier. All right, guys, that's going to end it for the interviews. Uh, it seems that many people use a combination of Google Maps uh, with guidebooks or kind of locals have helped them get around uh, and recommend certain areas or spots to go to. Uh, so if you guys had any concerns about getting lost uh, or about uh, finding your way here in Tokyo, I think you guys should feel at ease as everyone seemed to uh, get back on track. So we hope you guys stay tuned for the next interview video uh, and uh, see you guys next time.